Today we're going to read Amelia's Show and Tell Fiesta. Are you excited? I know I am. Here goes. Up the steps, two at a time, Amelia runs into her new school Americana. She takes a seat in the front row of the class. Then, Amelia leans forward, following each teacher's word. For tomorrow, show and tell, says Mrs. Jenner. Bring something special you'd like to share with your friends. Then, everyone will have a chance to talk about their treasures. Aye, Amelia slaps her hands together. I think I understand. Now, Amelia's plans, muy grandes, pull her in like the tide. For my first show and tell, I'll find something estupendo from my island home. Wow. Pretty exciting, huh? Closing her eyes, Amelia pictures her fiesta dress, the one she wore to carnival parade. Perfecto, she decides, and her smile stretches wider than the sea of Miramar. I like this story. Next morning, Amelia rises before the rooster. Can you make the sound of a rooster? Cock-a-doodle-doo. Looking out the bedroom window, she combs her curly hair over and over. It's the same thing I do every morning. Then, carefully, she steps into her special dress. My fiesta dress has one, two, three fancy skirts, Amelia says proudly. Can you say one, two, three in Spanish? Uno, dos, tres. She tries a teeny twirl, and her ruffled skirts flutter. First, Rojo whips around the hips like red-hot peppers. Do you know the Spanish word Rojo? It means red. A Mario swirls about her knees like a sea of yellow corn. Do you know the Spanish word amarillo? It means yellow. Blanco circles her feet like a flock of white gulls. Do you know the Spanish word for white? Blanco. When Mama sees Amelia looking so fine, she cries, Magnifico, and pins a gardenia in her daughter's hair. Then, arm in arm, they walk to the new school. Into the class, Amelia goes. But one glance around the room and suddenly she feels foolish like a crazy chicken, a pollo loco. That's the Spanish expression for crazy chicken. Pollo loco. Pollo is chicken and loco is crazy. Que pasa, she wonders. I'm the only one in costume. Over in the next seat, 
Parvanti asks, What did you bring? Bring? Amelia frowns. My fiesta dress. No, I mean, what did you bring for the show and tell basket? I don't understand, Amelia says in a teeny voice. Parvati points to the teacher's table. Amelia sees a basket brimming with unusual things. Cradled in straw sits Parvati's clay elephant all the way from India. Mayo's handmade truck. And Akio's carp shaped kite. Now her fiesta dress doesn't seem special. Not anymore. It can't be put into a basket and passed around and touched like the other terrific toys. Caramba, Amelia sighs. I want to go home. Suddenly, she hears Mrs. Jenner call her name. I mistake muy grande. I brought nothing for show and tell. Standing in front of everyone, empty-handed, she freezes. Amelia, the teacher says softly, tell us about your beautiful dress. But Amelia can't tell the class about her fiesta dress with one, two, three fancy skirts. Amelia starts to move away. Then suddenly, whoosh, her skirts whisper and stir up her senses. Amelia remembers tropical breezes. Tropical breezes that made palm trees sway. Finding her voice has something to say. La, la, bamba, Amelia sings. On my island home, we love fiestas. Looking up, she sees curious faces. We love fiestas with dancing in the street. And swish, Amelia shows her talking skirts, swirling a samba, twirling a tango, and whirling a rumba. Shall we do a rumba? Rumba. La, la, bamba. Oh, I like that. Soon, everyone hears Amelia's talking skirts swaying. They start hooraying. But Amelia feels at home, right here in America. I hope you liked that story. I sure did. Bye for now.